1212. This is not necessarily for publication. This one here is rated R. Restricted. The reason it's rated R because what we about to bring out is an offense to the entire world. But that's not new because to bring out the gospel and the truth about Christ is to offend the entire world. The church system as we know it today is a farce and a lie. Islam as we know it today is a farce and a lie. These things have nothing to do with Christ, nothing to do with the King of the Jews, nothing to do with Israel, nothing to do with God, nothing to do with the Savior. The church is filled with a bunch of Sadducees and Pharisees, money-grubbing gangster thieves that need to be removed from their seat as Christ prescribed in the Bible. And that's why it's important for us to know that these churches, all these churches and religions are teaching lies, man. The entire so-called Christian churches are teaching lies. Islam is a lie. All these religions are lies, and they stop us from knowing who we really are, and that stops us from following the Bible, man. The church is teaching us that the religion, our laws are done away with. They teaching us that the laws are done away with. That's why all our women can go sit up in the church on Sunday, go on Monday, on Wednesday, different days, have Bible study, come out and be the biggest freaks they are, man. Shalom Israel, my name is Officer Kapash, representing Indianapolis and the I should be kept. Alright, we got classes uh, Tuesday through Friday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. You can go through the website or you can call in the class number, which is also on the website at www.ishbk.com. Alright, if you got questions or uh, you need counsel about any situation, you're in trouble, you're in danger, you need advice, you get trouble with your woman, you know what I'm saying, anything. Call to call this number for counsel. 1773-812-7281. That's 773-812-7281. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, the I should be K, home of the truth. The actual entity, the actual school, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord set up. What is the I should be K? Alright? We're gonna to go to Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. This is Ezekiel the prophet right here, talking about how the Lord was upon him and carried him out in the spirit. All right? And set him in the midst of a valley, which was full of bones. All right? Verse 2. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. So much of dry bones, man. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. O Lord, power, most high power, you know. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord brought him in this valley full of bones, man. Dead people, which, which is bones, man. Bones was, used to be people, man, but they bones now. They dead and gone and dried up. Let you know that they've been dead for a while because it take a while for bones to dry up. You know what I'm saying? By the time a person is dead, it's still got meat and flesh on it. You know what I'm saying? And moisture still on it. But the bones that he's seen is dead. And, and the Lord asked him, Can they live, man? And Ezekiel said, Lord, you know. Again, he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. The Lord told Ezekiel to prophesy on these bones, man, to hear the word of the Lord. And breath, and the Lord said, He's going to cause breath to enter into them, and ye shall live. 
what this is talking about is like a metaphor, a story, a parable, man. It's talking about the bones that are dried up is Israel. It's blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We used to be alive. We used to be a live nation, man. Now we a dead nation. We are, we are, we dry bones as a nation, man. And the Lord told Ezekiel to prophesy to them bones so that they may live, and breath will enter into them. And that breath, it talk, the Bible say when they talk about breath and is giving life, it's talking about the law, statutes, and commandments, which is the spirit of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? The spirit that He has is on our people for us to follow His commandments, follow these laws, all right, and have courage for the Lord. That's the breath that it's talking about going to breathe into Israel, into the into us as us as dead people, man, and drop bones, and we're gonna live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will, it's verse six, and bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Most High. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord power, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. Man, that breath is, is what the IHK prophesies, man. We prophesy to the wind, man. We prophesy to the streets. We prophesy to, to them drip, dry bones. Just like the Lord commanded Ezekiel to do, man. That's what the IHBK is, man. We, we, prophet, we prophets, man. We prophesy the word of the Lord so Israel can live and breathe. Verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them. And they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Verse, man, that's the scripture right there. I see the great army. That's what the I should be K is, man. We are the army of the Lord. We got order. We got discipline. We soldiers. We warriors for the Lord. There's nothing else on the earth that's, that's soldiers for the Most High, man, and for His people, except the I should be K. Because we got order. We got discipline, man, from troopers to generals, man, and the sisters. Are right, we all in order? And if you're in another Israelite group or you're a Christian, you're out of order. You know what I'm saying? You're not in the Lord's army. All right? But you want to be in the Lord's army, man, because he's going to destroy this kingdom. And the Lord's army is what he's going to raise up out of it, out of the, the, the dust and fire and death. The, the army of the Lord is going to be raised up out of it. Verse 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dry and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. This man, we land, we in here in America, we in our graves, man. In these, in these jail cells, in these uh, homeless shelters, in these streets, in these trap houses, in these crack houses, in these uh, brothel houses, man, prostitute houses. This, this is a grave, man. That's dead. That's being dead to the Lord, man. You dead to the Lord. But he's going to give you the breath of life when you, when you join this fight. We can't keep the law, and commandments. That's what the prophets do, man. They breathe into, into the people, man. The people in the Aisha BK used to be drug dealers, used to be in jail, used to be in crack houses and trap houses, used to be prostitutes, but they not no more. We not no more. You know what I'm saying? We done changed, man, because we got that breath of the life. So we not in graves anymore. We living. We living for the most high. All right? And the Lord going to take us and put us in, the, in our place, man. Verse 13. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. And shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live. And I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, saith the most high. See, man, that's how you know that I should be the home of the truth. Because we're the only place that get brothers out the streets, get brothers out of, you know what I'm saying, beating their women, out of all the crimes that they used to do against the Lord. Man, we keep the commandments and we teach them. That's, that's what the I should be is. All right, we that army of the Lord, army of prophets, man, army of priests and kings, man, that we're going to be back on our land. Let's go to Revelation chapter 7.
Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads, of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. That's what we do in the ISHBK. That's who we are, man. We sealed, man. We that 144,000, 12,000 from every tribe that's going to be sealed with this knowledge, man. It's going to be sealed with this truth. It's going to be sealed with the discipline and the order to make it into the kingdom and to be a part of the kingdom, man. To be sealed, man. That's 144,000 men. It don't count women and children, man. That's 144,000 uh, men of the Lord, prophets, man, that we raising up only in the eyes should be K. The Lord is only raising them up in the eyes should be K, the home of the truth. Our ninth started since 1969, have a change, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to endure to the end. The ISHBK never going to change, man. So all them break off groups, man, you ain't disciplined enough for the school, you ain't down for the school, man, just, just pay, pay tithes and donations to the school, man, if you can't get into work like you need to do. All right? We're going to be sealed, man. 144,000, that's what the ISHBK is. We are that 144,000, man. Sealing the troopers, sealing men for the Lord. All right, we're going to pose this next question that a lot of people might ask about the ICBK. What do we do? See them soldiers, see them troopers on the streets, doing things, moving things, movers and shakers in the black, you know what I'm saying, Hispanic and American Indian community. But what do we do, man? We're going to go to Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. What are we doing out there? And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads, of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's what we do, man. We go through the city. Every city we're going through, man. Philly, D.C., Chicago, Indianapolis, man, Cincinnati. We're going to be throughout every city, man. We're going to mark who is sighing and crying for the children of Israel. All right? And if you is sighing and crying for the children of Israel, for us being in jail, for us being on crack, you know what I'm saying? Being in homeless shelters, being uh, foster care, you know what I'm saying? Being raped and molested in epi epidemic uh, numbers, you know what I'm saying? There's over 2 million uh, people in, in prison in America, man. I mean, just black men in America in prison, man. If you sigh and you crying for that, man, for them brothers doing them bids, man, who have to live like criminals just to make it, who feel like that's all they can do, that's all they're good for, is to be a criminal and a drug dealer and a killer and a stealer and a thief. If you, if you cry for that situation, man, for that, that, these, that our people are in and that we put ourselves in, that's what we're going to mark, man. That's what the Lord going to mark, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so you can be, you know what I'm saying, sealed and get this knowledge and, and, make, and make real change. Not no, not no freaking uh, fake uh, Obama change, man. Only change he made is um, now you got to pay a penalty since you don't have health care. That's the change you got from Obama. When you, when you see that tax check and it's short from that health care uh, opt-out that's in there because you don't got health care, thank Obama, man. That's the change. Change right there. Change to your pockets. Change out of your pockets, man. But if you want to really affect these people and, and help your brothers and sisters and do what you need to do for the Lord and stand as a man of the, of the Most High, you sign cry for your people, man. We're going to mark you, man. Coming to these classes Tuesday through Friday, man. Hit the radio show every Monday. IShouldBK.com. Pay your tithes and donations at IShouldBK.org. We're going to go to Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. There's going to be many people out there trying to search and seek and do things for the people of Israel, try to be a mayor and help out blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians, try to make this kingdom and make our people better, but they're not going to enter in, man. 
The Lord is going to make, raise up Israel and put us in our land. The Lord is going to raise up men for the Lord, for the war. You know what I'm saying? You got to enter in at the straight gate. That's what we do. We are that straight gate. The IHBK commit under Commander General Hanna is that straight gate, man. We got orders and discipline, man. Them brothers in the school, man, won't do nothing without that without the orders, man. And we'll stop at nothing to get the orders done. That's how we roll, man. We the real army of the Lord. Can't be stopped, man. And we will never be stopped. And we won't change either. Never changed since 1969. Alright? And we that straight gate. And the scriptures tell you, man, many gonna seek to enter but not be able. You can't, you can't start your own Hebrew Israelite group. You can't start your own church and be a pastor and help people. You're going to destroy people. You're going to be, you be blind leading the blind. You got to enter in at the straight gate. Everybody does. Ain't no exceptions. Through the eyes you be kept. All right, we're going to go to the pocket. The wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. So it means you're going to flee lies, man. That Christian church don't have no discipline. That Muslim mosque don't have no discipline. They just look like it on the surface. They don't have no discipline. Underneath, they, they drug dealers, man, and killers. Underneath it, the Christian church, they child molesters and rapists and womanizers. You know what I'm saying? They don't got no discipline. They, they can't stop their own lust, man. I should be the only place got the Holy Spirit of discipline. We can stop our lust, man. We don't just have our lust run us. That's who everybody in the world, man. They, what they, they lust just run them. They horny, they lust just gonna run them into sin. They, they hungry, they lust for, for something, for something, new car, this and that, gonna, gonna run them into sin. Into being a drug dealer, man. But we got that spirit of discipline. So we not run by our lust, man. Our flesh don't run us in the eyes you can The Lord run us. And remove from thoughts that are without understanding. It will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. There's no unrighteousness in the eyes you can man. None whatsoever. We keep the commandments. You know what I'm saying? We with the Lord. We strive to be perfect. We, we probably going to be perfect just like the Lord said. Be ye therefore perfect even as Christ is perfect. We not no Christians who 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 we be they you've been a Christian five years and the Lord's still working with you on your weed habit. On your hoarding. The Lord's still working with you, huh? After all these years of being a Christian, you ain't you ain't changed for the better yet. You worse as you more, you less moral now than you was before you became a Christian, before you became a Muslim. But man, we got the Holy Spirit of discipline at the school, man. For hardcore men, for men of the Lord, for the prophets, man, that he know. The Lord knows. All right, next question. What is our goal? What is the goal of the ISUBK and the Lord in the ISUBK? What is the goal? We're going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 30 and start from there to answer that. And it shall come to pass, when all these things have come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy power hath, hath driven thee, and shall return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice. Hold on, hold on, slow it down, man. When all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. Man, we've been, we was blessed and we cursed now, man. We was in slavery in the fields, man. That's cursed in the field. Then after slavery, people wanted to move up north to all the cities, and now look at us. We cursed in the cities, man. Chicago, Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, we curse, man. Syracuse, all the cities of North, man, and in the South, man, we curse, man. We on drugs, man. We drug addicts, man. We like a nation, we almost a nation of drug addicts. Everybody got their is on weed and smoking cigarettes, on a, a, a drug, drunks, drunks, man. On the reservations, we drunks. We all is pretty much like drug did drug addicts, man. Because we cursed in these cities. And that's what the Lord said. These curses are going to be upon us, man. It's a curse in the Bible. It already is set it down that the Lord said, man. We we always going to have black and black crime, man. Tender eye among you going to have be evil eye towards his brother. 
That's where Bloods and Crips and MS-13 and Latin Kings come in at, killing each other. It already said we're gonna have our father is gonna leave the mother, you know what I'm saying, the wife of that youth. That's why nobody got no fathers, man. We grew up without fathers in the home. That's a curse in the Bible, man. Being bald-headed, our women being bald-headed is a curse in the Bible, man. That's already written down. That's why, man. We're gonna go to verse, uh, we're gonna keep it at verse one. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord thy power hath driven thee. That's what we do, man. We call it to mind, man. The Lord called it to mind. That why all these curses are on our people, man. And shall return unto the Lord thy power, and shall obey his voice, according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thy heart and with all thy soul. That's what it takes, man. It's, it's obeying the voice of the Lord, according to all his commandments, man. That, the, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy power hath scattered thee. That's what's going to happen, man. We're going to be brought back to our land, man. The Lord going to gather us and free, free us from being captives in this land. We are captives and we still are slaves in this land, man. Because every, every $10 an hour they pay you, you doing work for $50, $20 an hour, man. They, we slaves in this place, man. Look at this recent, most recent uh, uh, thing that happened with Donald Sterling, man, the billionaire that made racist comments, man. He owned an NBA team. All the, most of the majority of the workers and workforce is is blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians. Majority of the owners is is the damn devils. White man, man. We we captives in this land, man. We are, we below, not above. We the workforce. We not the owners, man. We don't even got enough, man, black community, all the rich millionaires are song rap, rap, rap songwriters and rappers that talk about how they got so much money and Benzes and Porsches and, and got the dough, man, moving that dough, man, and all that bull crap they talk about. Don't none of them, P. Diddy, Jay-Z, 50 Cent, none of them got enough money to buy a freaking NBA team, man. But that, that NBA team ain't nothing to Donald Sterling, man. He a billionaire. He, man, he, man that ain't nothing to him, man. $2.5 million fine on him ain't nothing. Man, that's like somebody fining you $20, man. You, you gonna make that back, man, in a couple days, man. That ain't nothing. $600 million team, man. Don't know blacks own enough money, got enough money to buy that team, man. Maybe one, man. Maybe Oprah. But that just goes to show, man, all these brothers that talk about how much money they making and millions of dollars and, and running and breaking their legs and, and, and ruining their health to be on sports teams. And, and all this would be employed money, Mayweather and all that crap. They ain't got enough money, man. They ain't nowhere near on the level of the white man when it comes to money and bread. Because we the workforce, man. Somebody making money off of off of all oh, LeBron James and Michael Jordan. And all the and things they did in the NBA. All the money who paying them, all the people who paying them is getting more money than what they paying them. So all you little Wayne guys and 50 Cent, all the money they making, there's somebody in the background, a white devil, making twice as much as, as 50 Cent, you know what I'm saying, thought he was making. They tell you you're making this amount, but you really made this much for, for the record industry. Man, we slaves in this kingdom, man. We took advantage of in this kingdom, and we in captivity in this kingdom. And the Lord will take us back to that captivity. You know what I'm saying? When we keep it, keep his commandments and call it to mind the blessings and the curses. And that's what we do, man. That's what we do. And that's what our goal is. To call it to mind, man. And to be out of this land. We can go to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1, to emphasize what our goal is. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob, as blacks, Hispanics, and the American Indians. He will have mercy on us. And will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of, of Jacob. Strangers, they will be joined to us. Watch this. And the people shall take them, and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. 
And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage where thou wast made to serve. Man, we would serve, we serve hard bondage and we still do in this kingdom, man. We serve hard bondage. You know what I'm saying? That slavery, man, was hell. Having to work from sun up to sundown, man, was hell. Getting beat over our backs, we ain't forget about that, man. We ain't forget about the curses, man. But all that's gonna be reversed, man. We go to the kingdom. This is our goal, man, to be in our land and to rule over our oppressors. We will no longer have to be uh, the workforce. We're going to be the owners. We're not going to have to work 10-hour shifts. We're going we gonna to be the ones in charge. We're going to be the bosses and the managers and the team owners. That's our goal, man, for blacks, Hispanics, and American Indians. There's only one way to do it, man, to enter in at the straight gate. Learn these laws, statutes, and commandments and how to do them. A lot of people don't even know the commandments, man. They Christians, they don't know nothing about the laws and commandments, man. They think they got a wife, they go sleep with another woman, they think they committed a sin, they think they committed adultery. So then they uh, sleep with one woman, throw them away, and, and do all this bull crap and all these different, you know, break up the family and everything. Because they don't even know the laws, man. Ain't nothing wrong with having multiple wives, man. If you got one wife and you sleep with another woman, that's your wife too, man. You keep them both, man. You don't, you don't, you, we don't drop our women, man, in the Lord. We keep them, man, and take care of them and keep them to wild, man. You think, man, Christians don't know the law. They don't know the Bible. You can't go to nowhere else and learn the Bible or set the straight gate, which is the ICBK, home of the truth. You can go to Isaiah chapter 60. The book of Isaiah chapter 60. Verse 11. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. The, the gates of heaven, man, to tell you in Revelation, man, the walls going to be over 150 feet high around the city, man. To get in them gates, man, it's going to be trucks and truckload and truckload and shipload and boatload and plane load of goods that's going to be brought from these nations, man, to our people, man. And we're going to be living to wild, man. That's what the streets of gold is about. The whole earth ain't going to be gold. It's just going to be Jerusalem going to have streets of gold. Because Jerusalem going to have so much money. Jerusalem going to have so much goods. Jerusalem going to be that center capital of the world. Making the most bread, man. The center capital, the money capital of the world. All Israelites, man, going to be, going to be allowed to come in that, in that city, man. Jerusalem, man. The forces of Gentiles are going to be brought in day or night. We ain't even going to be able to close the gates. Man, like the two men, Johnny and Hannah, tell us, and, and the Bible tells us, man, them gates will be open continually. They're going to be like, well, we can't close them, man. We got still truckloads of stuff coming in. Keep them gates open. It ain't going to stop, man. We're going to be so wealthy, we ain't even going to worry about it, man. All we're going to worry about is the Lord, man, and living great like kings, man. Houses, man. Houses the size of freaking uh, mansions, man. Castles. Butlers. Servants, man. Keeping the yard together. Just like the white man had, but ours is going to be ten times greater, man, because in the Lord. Greater than you can even imagine. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. We're going to have power, man. And our people are going to have power, man. All the nations that don't serve us, man, they're going to be utterly wasted and destroyed, man. They're going to serve us, man. They're going to be forced to. Through power, man, and dominion that blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are going to have, man. And the army of the Lord is going to have. And if you're not part of that army of the Lord, man, that's that's sad day for you, man. You better get in this school. Get in this straight gate. Be a part of the army. Be a part of the great man that's going to be leading this, leading this nation. And you can have you a castle on a hill, man. You know what I'm saying? Have you, man, freaking, we're going to, man, man, the kingdom going to be so great. It's, I mean, it's not even explainable, man. Streets of gold, man. If the streets is made of gold, man, how wealthy the people gonna be, man? How wealthy we gonna be? How great we gonna be as a nation, man? Once again. Let's go to uh, verse 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. 
man, all these nations that look down on you, man. You come in that store buying that, that fake hair, they looking down on you. You go in the uh, uh, markets and you trying to get some food from the gas stations and little chicken stores. You on that job with a white man and he looking down on you as you working and telling you what to do. They all gonna be bending at your feet if you come and join the school and be down with the Lord, man. They sons and stuff is gonna be bending at your feet, bowing down to you. All of them that afflicted us. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 61, verse 5. We're going to read that through all the way to verse 10. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. You ain't going to have to cut no grass no more. You ain't going to have to uh, build no houses no more, our Mexican brothers. You ain't going to have to be bricklayers no more. So we're going to have some, we're going to have people laying our bricks. We're going to have people cutting our grass, keeping our, our crops together. We ain't going to have to be on the on plantations no more. Picking cotton, picking grapes, picking apples. That's what our brothers is doing, Mexican brothers, man. They in this country picking apples all day. You know what I'm saying? Picking uh, picking five hundred dollars worth of fruits off the trees and only getting seventy dollars for the whole day, twelve hours labor, man. A dollar a pound, man. A dollar to ten pounds. We 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 the vine dressers and the plowmen of this nation. We the ones picking the picking the apples and the and the celery and the broccoli and the and the oranges. Our Mexican brothers, man. We was the ones picking the cotton, making this country rich off of cotton. This country couldn't even fight or fight off the British without the free slave labor, man. This country wouldn't be nothing without the free slave labor. This whole uh, United the United Nations wouldn't even be no powerful powerful uh, entity without us picking cotton. Picking sugar cane, you know what I'm saying, in Brazil and in uh, Haiti. That's because of us, man. But the strangers are going to be the ones doing that in the kingdom, not us. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. We're going to be decked out, man. We're going to be kings and priests, man. Wearing diamonds and studs and gold and silver. Looking good, man. Serving the Most High. Doing His business. Running this world the way it's supposed to run. We're going to be priests, man. We're going to be ministers of the Lord. We're going to boast ourselves in the riches of the Gentiles. That means the riches that the Gentiles, that we, that they boast themselves in us. Spain and the riches that, that, they, that they, they, had, they got, man, from conquering the Aztecs and the Incas, man, and making them work in mines in South America, getting all that silver. They boast themselves in that, but we're going to be the one boasting ourselves in it. We ain't going to be on the bottom anymore. For your shame, ye shall have double, and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. We're going to have joy, man. We ain't going to be ashamed of our curly, nappy hair no more. We ain't gonna be ashamed of, uh, you know, what I'm saying of being being the immigrants anymore. We're not gonna be ashamed of it no more. We're gonna have double, man. We're gonna be in joy. We're gonna be rejoicing. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in the in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. The Lord's gonna direct our work in truth. Home of the truth, man. This is the place the Lord gonna direct His work in. And make this possible, make this happen right here that we're reading. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. Our seed, man, you should want that for your kids, man, and for yourself, man. That the Gentiles is going to acknowledge them. And say, man, them is blessed people. Them is the people the Lord blessed above all. Them people are so blessed. I wish I was an Israelite. That's what they would be saying. We the blessed, man. We're going to be the blessed of the Lord. And our seed is going to be blessed among the Gentiles, man. As they, we're going to operate among this world. They're going to be the, the, the rich man coming through. You know what I'm saying? I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my power. For he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as our bride adorneth herself with her jewels. 
See, man, this is the salvation that the Lord is talking about. He's not talking about no floating off in the sky salvation that you're never going to see. There ain't no heaven and hell that you're going to die and go off to heaven, man. The salvation of the Lord is going to be on this earth, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be decked out with righteousness. This is literal, man. This is not no metaphor speech or no uh, freaking dream, man. Or no, I have a dream speech. This ain't no dream, man. The Lord is for real when he's telling us these things. But we not we gotta be for real about the Lord. We're gonna be their righteousness, and we're gonna have, we're gonna be, we're gonna be covered, man. And we're gonna be decked out. The Bible says we're gonna be decked, man. We're gonna be decked out like somebody who just got married, man. How they get how they deck themselves out. We're gonna be decked out as a nation of people, man. With power and with glory. That's our goal, man. That's the goal of the eyes should be K, man. Who else on earth you gonna go to got a goal this met this this majestic and this awesome. Who else got a goal like this, man? Our goal is what the Lord want, man. Our goal is what I just read about, man. It's a great goal. It's something you should strive to. You should want to strive to. You should wake up every morning and say, I'm in this truth to get these goals, to get this set up, man. And it's going to happen, too. So you be a part of that 144,000, that army of the Lord, getting this straight gate, getting this school, and become a trooper. Start coming to classes where you're all black to become a trooper, to get in this work. So you can get, get help us get this goal. So you can be a part of it. Because the Lord don't need you. The Lord don't need you. So you got to be in this, you got to be about it. You got to be about the Lord. Or the Lord will overpass you. We're going to that this work of the Lord going to get done without you. So getting this to be a part of 144,000, man, before it's too late. The time is near, man. It's close, man. World War III is right around the corner. Man, Russia don't give a, Russia don't give a, a F, man. It's going down over there. Russia's tired of being poor and in the rocks, man, while America thrive. Russia's trying to get, his, get, his, get theirs in. America getting theirs in, conquering Iraq. Conquering them to get some oil, conquering Panama to keep the keep the uh, the gates of the Panama Canal so they can keep getting money off of that. America's getting theirs, China's getting theirs, Russia getting theirs too. And that they gonna butt heads, and that's where World War Three gonna pop off, man. Real soon. Quick, fast, in a hurry. White man gonna be driving around in pickup trucks with M16s to your head saying, Come on, get in the truck, we drafting you into the army. We're gonna send you over there to the to the Middle East, to Ukraine, to fight off to fight the Russians. That's going to be real soon. So you get this school quick, soon, fast, in a hurry, man. Or you ain't going to make it. All right? Last but not least, man, how are we going to achieve the goal? How is the Lord going to make all these glorious things happen, man? How are we going to be decked out with a kingdom, with gates, man, with, 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 you know, diamonds and golds and studs and be priests, man, and have people all over the world looking at us and, and seeing how great we are. When we walk through, man, get off the airport and they see us, man, we, or we get off the ship, off the boat, and we in we, a glorious road, man. And they looking at us, man, we got the power. How are we going to achieve this goal? Go to the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Christ come to fulfill what we just read. But he said, don't think that he destroyed the law or what the prophets just said when we read in Isaiah. That's a prophet who said that. He ain't come to destroy the law. Don't think that, man. Don't think that we that the law is not here, that's not important no more. The law is important. All right? That's how we're going to uh, uh, get these goals done, man. It's teaching these laws. All right? And one more, last but not least. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. The foolishness of preaching, man, you're going to save us, man. When he set up that kingdom, that's how you're going to be saved, man, by getting into that. And by not being a drug dealer, by not being uh, getting shot in the streets and being killed and being strung out on crack and being molested and being prostituted. You're going to be saved from all that faith. As this kingdom goes down and down and gets into war and this sickness and disease and famine spreads into America, you're going to be saved from all that by the foolishness of preaching, man. By us being in these cities and preaching and you joining this school. You join this school and, and preach 
with the brothers and, and do what the Most High tell you to do in these orders and discipline. By preaching, we're going to bring this kingdom down. By our words, man. By the words of the Lord. By breathing that life like Ezekiel uh, was told to do, man. Prophesying so the bones can live. That's how the army of the Lord going to get raised up. That's how the work of the Lord going to get done. And that's how this kingdom going to fall. And this glory, that the glory of our, of our salvation is going to be manifested. And the gates and the glory and the gold and the, and the streets of gold and the walls over 150 feet high around the city of the gates, you know, protecting it. Pearls, man, and diamonds, man. That's what the Lord is about, man. The Lord made that, man. He's going to deck us out. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be decked out in the Lord, being priests and kings and ministers. You know what I'm saying? Walking on this earth, man, I can feel it, and that's going to be glorious. And it's already being started, it's already being raised up. The army of the Lord is the eyes should be kept. 144,000 is the eyes should be kept. That salvation is coming through the eyes should be kept. That straight gate is the eye that should be kept. Home of the truth. And that's the end of the lesson. All right, like I said, my name is Officer Kapash of Indianapolis uh, through the Chicago Connect. You know what I'm saying? We got classes Tuesday through Friday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. If you're in the area or you want to become a trooper or you want counsel, Call this number, 773-812-7281. Become a trooper where you're all black. Be a man of war. Be a man of the Lord. Become something with your life, man. Besides a drug dealer and, a, and a, 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 being in and out of jail and prison and being a whore and being a crackhead. Become something more brethren with your life, man. Get the life of the Lord and the breath of the Lord in you. Pay tithes, man. Every 10% of all the money you earn, give you pay to the school through ishk.org. It's the law and it's the commandments of the Lord. It's straight up, plain and simple. The radio show, man, is every Monday. Every Monday at ishpk.com or uh, you can call the number through the radio, through the ishpk.com website. All right? The most controversial man in America, the hottest radio show in America, the, the straight gate in America, the, the army of the Lord's show, what he's trying to tell us as a nation of people is on, that, on this radio show. And you have to listen to it. It's, a, it's, it's imperative that you listen to it. Your life depends on it. Every Monday, IHBK.com, the radio show, Commander Johnny Ahana, The Grill, breaking down all, all this world and what's going on with the Clippers, with, with the uh, racist comments, with everything, man. All the, all the recent uh, current events, okay? My name is Officer Kapash signing off. Shalom. This is not necessarily for publication. This one here is rated R. Restricted. The reason it's rated R is because what we about to bring out is an offense to the entire world. But that's not new because to bring out the gospel and the truth about Christ is to offend the entire world. The church system as we know it today is a farce and a lie. Islam as we know it today is a farce and a lie. These things have nothing to do with Christ, nothing to do with the King of the Jews, nothing to do with Israel, nothing to do with God, nothing to do with the Savior.